everybody, it's Maria. Welcome back to my channel. This is Saturday Chit Chat. Well, I'm going to try to get through this video. I almost got done with this video and then I wasn't really enjoying myself doing the video. I, I think I got I so nervous doing this video that, I don't know. Um, just to let you guys know, I'm filming you on my new laptop. That explains why I've turned everything around. Uh, we got a new laptop. Um, got a gateway computer. I was wanting the HP computer. But they didn't have it, and they said, look, we'll give you this computer. If you want to, bring it back before the two weeks is up, and we'll get you the HP one. Which, I kind of under don't understand why they didn't and just try to go ahead and look for me one. But, I told my husband after, since I'm learning to use this computer, and I'm getting everything set up on it, I'll just go ahead and keep it, because I don't want to go through all that again. I'm, I've, I'm, like I said, I've, I'm so excited. Um, I didn't really sleep last night. I slept, but... It was, you know how you're like a kid at Christmas got a new toy and want to play with it? That's how I was. So, um, second of all, I apologize. It's going to be windy in here. It is blowing outside. It feels nice in the apartment. I've got the other window in the living room um, opened, and I have two dogs with me. So, um, we're doggy sitting my next door neighbor's dog until Tuesday. Um, we didn't, she'd asked us if we sit, and we're like, sure. And she was like, well, you, you can leave them in there. I was like, no, I don't mind having them in the house, you know. So, and his name is Oreo, and then I have an Oreo cookie, so, yeah. And I think he's a Shih Tzu, and he looks just like my uh, other sister-in-law, Shawnee's dog, uh, Pepper Butt, so, yeah. And they're both just chilling out, laying on the bed, and the cats are going, excuse me, what's up with this new dog? So, anyway, I still got learning, a lot of learning to do on this. I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself. I don't know why to, I think I have to soak up all this, but as my husband said, I'll just learn every step of the way each day go on with it and just kind of not to be overwhelmed I don't want to spend all my time on the computer but I do want to learn how to use it so anyway and of course my neighbor the same neighbor I was telling you about we asked her if we can use her bum her Wi-Fi off and she's like yeah sure so um but I did order internet through our TV company and they gave us such a good deal that they're they said if you go and get this package with a two-year agreement we'll send you a hundred dollar Visa card and for some reason, she was able to give me a an additional fifty dollar Visa card. So I already promised my husband, "Hey, you get the hundred dollar." I was gonna give him the, both of them, but he was like, "No, go ahead and get the fifty dollar one because I placed my first Elf order this morning." <laughs> yes, I finally ordered from Elf, so that's why he's thinking I want to go back and get more. So I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, I should have the internet. Um, but the cool thing is. We're going to try it out for about 30 days. If we don't like it, I'll just turn on, cancel it, and we won't get the gift cards, which I could care less anyway. So, um, it's not going to be that much more, but $20 more on uh, our bill, and we're like, what the heck, you know? So, I tried to get the $79.99 deal, but we had to get the, with our package, we had to get the $99 deal. So, anyway, bear with me. I'm trying this out, and I am still getting my uh, camera at the end of the week. For my friend, I just thought I'd try out the webcam and try my hand at editing on YouTube. So, yeah. Anyway. Uh, as far as the elf orders I mentioned, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. My, I told my husband I finally placed the order. He was like, finally, I don't have to hear about you talking about it. And the order came out to $40. And uh, my friend Rhonda, 1911, who told me about a great website. And I had it written down. Hold on, let me. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I had it right now somewhere. I think it's called Retail Me Not. I'll, I'll put it in the description box. You go in there and you can sign up and be a member. I already did. And you can type in in the search like icefacelips.com and they'll, you'll see a list of, um, you know, coupon codes. And I want to try to, if I'm going to do some online purchasing a little bit here and there, I want to save as much money. My hair. Okay. Anyway, and I got a coupon code for free shipping, which saved me seven bucks there. And then, of course, I had this $25 gift card. I only wound up spending nine bucks. And my husband's like, why didn't you get more? I'm like, really? I'm trying to pace myself. And there was a few more things I wanted, but I wanted to see how it goes. You know, I'm kind of trying it out. So, super duper excited. Um, I, 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 and the dog's barking. Go lay down, Oreo. I'm sorry. He thinks somebody's... Uh, uh, trying to get in the apartment. I'm clearly sitting right here. So anyway, I'm just going to keep going with it. So yeah, I'll let you guys know what I got. I can't tell you, I did order the silver brush, a small one. I was like, oh my gosh. I accidentally bought three of something that I wanted just two of, but I'll send the third one to Rhonda when I get it. So super excited. 
uh, yeah. Um, I guess that's all that's new. So, you know, like I said, the laptop, so. Oreo cookie! Oreo! Get up here and be quiet, please. Oh, well, it was quiet. So, anyway, and I'm going to try this out. I'm thinking about starting to film my videos this way. Praise my vanity. See what you guys think. If you like this, you know, yay or nay. Um, anyway. Let me go ahead and share with you my favorite things of the week before I get too long. I'm right at five minutes. And I apologize. I will be talking like crazy because I've got so much to share. Very little time. So, let me show you my first Walmart. My, my first Walmart haul. Hello. My tiny Walmart haul. While we were there waiting to uh, get the computer, um, I picked up a few things. One of which I'm actually going to take back. Let me go ahead and show you that. I picked up this awesome bag thinking it was going to work for my computer for some dumb reason. I thought it was a good idea. But it was in the clearance section for about $8. And I, when I got home, I realized it wasn't going to work. So, and then, of course, the neighbor who kind of, she said that, yes, you build you know, your junk in there. But if you want to keep it, your laptop padded, it'd be better to just take it back. So, I'm, a, I'm going to take it back and uh, get uh, my money back. I'm going to go to the thrift store tomorrow and see if they have some really, really nice ones. And if they do, I'm going to go and purchase one. If not, I may wind up having to go to another retail store and see if I'm find one. Um, other than Target, uh, or maybe Best Buy, there's a, a if you know of a good place to find a laptop uh, holder thing that where I can carry that and the charger and all the little doodads. I did have one from a, uh, a long time ago, but I gave it back um, to the person I was borrowing it from. Let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm interested in getting this because I. Like, uh, we're going over his, uh, Shawnee and Chris's house tomorrow, and I'm definitely going to take the computer, so, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I got that. I picked up in the clearance section. That, now, I got this for the novelty item, um, the Hello Kitty candy dispenser. This is, um, I don't remember how much it was, but it, uh, originally, but it was a dollar fifty, And I got it so I can empty out the candy and keep the little container. And they have in their, like, Easter basket section, they have a bunch of Hello Kitty stuff. So if you're like me and you're a Hello Kitty fan, you might want to check those out for either your kids or for yourself. So I totally got that. And I got this really cool item. I already opened it. This, to me, reminds me of a small spatula that should be used for uh, baking. And I think I saw Heather, uh, Donnie Sweetie, had this. It's the beauty spoon, and you can find this at Walmart where the brushes are at. And this is, uh, and it says on the package, if you can't get to it beauty spoon it it says a new smart tool that helps you spoon out all your creams lotions and serums and other pro products which i think is ingenious this is about 5.98 so it's about six bucks and it says it's got an innovative flex design um nice handle design contoured spoon for maximum liquid retrieval and i cannot wait to try this i'm actually going to i mainly bought it I bought it for everything, but I was thinking about the NYC Smooth Skin that I love, and you know this is hard as you know what to get out of. So this is what the, it it looks just like a little silicone um spatula that you would use in baking. So I can already tell you now this is gonna be my March favorites because that is like awesome tool. It it's kind of like the one from the Room of London people where they put it in their foundations. Just that theirs has a hole and it's longer. So I will do a demonstration. If you guys want to see a demo, how it works is pretty much self-explanatory. Super duper excited. The other thing, you guys remember I told you about the new NYC products? Well, my Walmart actually was starting to get those in. Um, I didn't see the foundations. And I was trying not to really buy those just yet. But I did pick up one NYC Expert Last Nail Polish. So it's to last up to seven days. I got this in laundry. Linging Laundry number 175. That's what the bottle looks like. These are the new nail polishes. Let me show you the bottle. I'm so not used to this camera. That's what that looks like. It seems like it does a pretty good job. You guys can kind of see it. This is such a pretty pink color. I think I did a swatch of it. Look at it. I don't know. It's got pearly pink. So, yeah, I'm going to change out my nails. Excuse my nails. I'm either going to do the mint sorbet from Stanley Hansen or I'm thinking about just wearing this. So, 
Uh, this was like, I want to say it was like $2, I think. Anyway, but go check these out. A lot of the Walmarts are, I did talk to this one at the Walmart. They said all the Walmarts are changing out their area. I thought it was just certain ones, but they said no, all of them. So, uh, let's see. What else did I get? My husband picked up a couple things. I think that was all I picked up. If I remember, I'll tell you. Oh, I picked up the People Style Watch magazine. So I'll be sharing that with you in a minute. Okay. Let me get into my favorite things of the week. Now, some of these items I just got Thursday, but I totally love them. I'll start with the first thing. My earrings that Rhonda sent me. Totally, totally love these. Aren't those cute? I wore these Thursday, and I'm also including the little pink, uh, hot pink uh, studs. As soon as I got on Thursday when I went into work, I put these in my ear and I've been wearing them warm yesterday, uh, Thursday, and I'm wearing them again today. And I'm wearing the matching necklace that she got me. So cute. Yeah, if you want to see details on this, go to see my mail haul. Hush! I'm sorry, the dog's getting, he's irritating me. Okay. He's going to go lay down. So again, I apologize, but. Anyway, I love this necklace. I'm not gonna. I don't wear these pieces to work, but I wear. I wore this to work, but not this because I'm afraid I'll lose it. And then I have, of course, the bracelet she sent me. Totally love this. And I'm probably gonna wear this out shopping tomorrow. I don't have very many bracelets that I can actually wear. So yeah, Rhonda, you did a great job. I love these. Just up with my lips right now. Okay. Anyway, so I have those. Um, let's see, another favorite thing, and this is something she sent me, was this pink polka dot makeup bag. I totally switched over. My Hello Kitty wristlet is now a wristlet. I don't know why I didn't think about buying myself a makeup bag, but I love this. So, totally, totally, and just am enjoying this. So, thank you. I love this. I'm been getting into zebra and pink polka dots. I don't know what the deal is. It's just been getting into it. Now, I know I shared this with you guys a bunch of times, but I'm going to share it to you again. I cannot stress enough how, how much I enjoy these little plastic paint things you can get at the craft store for like 89 cents. I use them for mixing my uh, foundations and just preventing me from sticking on my hand. So that has been an awesome, awesome thing for me to be using. Another thing I've been enjoying has been, yet again, another Rhonda item she sent me, the St. Ives Naturally Indulgent Body Lotion and Coconut Milk and Orchid Extract. Okay, the very day I got this, I was going to take a shower, and I kept this in my shower, and every day since then, even okay, today, yesterday, and the day before that, I've actually, as soon as I got a shower, I slapped this on, and I love the way it smells. It just kept my skin so soft, and it smells really, really, really good. And I love St. Ives products. I think a lot of their products are really good. There's some that maybe hit and miss. The other one I was going to show you was the one I shared, uh, the St. Ives Soothing Oatmeal Shea Butter. Um, I use this to put on my eyelids to keep them from chafing. So just to show you what I've been talking about, that's what I've been referring to. Um, and my husband actually has a full-size bottle of this at his job. And he keeps a little small amount of it with him because his hands uh, get so dry that they almost bleed. But this has prevented it from doing that. So, yeah. But these lotions are awesome. If you haven't tried their um, lotions, you got to try them out. I, I'm in love with this stuff. Okay. Um, let's see. Another thing that I've been enjoying, I've been obsessed with this uh, brush, has been the Elf Angle, uh, small angle brush. I got this at my local Target, and I've been using this to put eyeliner. I've been using my color tattoos as an eyeliner. I've been using the wet, uh, the eyeshadows wet. And this is just a really nice soft brush. I get a cream, crisp line across. I mean, it's just awesome. So, if you haven't tried this brush, I highly recommend this brush. What I've been doing with this has been grabbing my Urban Decay Naked One Palette. I finally started using the darker colors, at least one of them anyway, and that's Creep. I have it on today. I've been using it more as an eyeliner, and I find that whenever I use this on my upper and lower lash line, smudge it out, I get it, my eyes are more defined. I think it, my eyes look really nice. And so today I used it with that and a, another and a purple eyeliner, a purple eyeshadow. So, oh, felt the sneeze coming on. Sorry. So, I really love this color. I'm going to start using the silver one, which is gunmetal. So, anyway, I'm still trying to come up with a look with the silver um, look. But these two have been just my go-to uh, things. 
Another favorite item I've been loving since I got it has been the Hot Mama Balm uh, blush. I have it on the day. I had it on yesterday and Thursday. I think I had it on Thursday. I can't remember. It's just a really pretty peachy kind of pink. And I just nicked it. Um, Rhonda had gotten this. Um, she had a, like an extra sample of it. And she decided to send me the backup. This is what it looks like. I think my color is not going to come off as true. But it's just a really pretty color. And I love the way it looks on my skin. And just complements my features. So I'm definitely going to try to buy this uh, at the full size value. I never owned anything from the balm. And love it. Okay. Um, I think um, one of the eyeshadow palettes I've been reaching for has been, yet again, the Urban Decay Deluxe Palette. I cannot stop using this darn thing. I've been using the neutrals and then the purple eyeshadow palettes. Uh, I mean, eyeshadows. I said palette. I really have loved this, and I'm sorry I keep mentioning this, but this is just a really great palette. I've been finding a lot of uses of it. And yes, I'm in too chicken to use the middle section, but we'll see soon. Another product I've been just grabbing for has been my Ulta Contour Brush. I think I shared this in my favorites video. This has been my go-to for contouring. It's a soft, slanted, synthetic brush that is apparently a little bit dirty. So, I really love this brush. They have, this is one that I got two, three years ago, but they have this in their store. It might be different. I love this brush. It's so soft and it gets in my cheeks where I need it to contour. So, I probably needed to blend, blend that out a little bit more, but I really love this brush. Okay. I have been dying to try this pressed powder, and you guys know that I am obsessed with the Milani face powder, okay? This is the one in the Multitasker face powder, okay? I love this one. I love my Smooth Skin from, I mean, my Stay Matte one from uh, Rimmel, although I think that one smells on it. Ugh. Um, but I've been loving this, okay? Well, I found something that's just as comparable and a little bit cheaper. That's the e.l.f. Press Powder. I used this uh, today. I believe I used it yesterday and Thursday. And when I placed my order, I accidentally ordered three. I knew I was going to order two. But that's okay. I'm going to give the other one to Rhonda. And this is just a... Sorry about that. <laughs> this is just an awesome, soft uh, press powder. I love the way it does uh, looks on my skin. I put my um, Glamour Gloss Concealer where I'm a little bit red and... It, the zits are starting to go away. This is in a really good job of covering those up, and you really, it's not as bad. So, I feel comfortable wearing makeup, and this is just an awesome, awesome powder. Thank you again, Rhonda, for sending this to me. I love it. It met my expectations. Sometimes I get like an elf uh, product, and I've been waiting so long to try it, and I'm disappointed. But this is one of those products that I totally love this, and I will probably continue to purchase this, even if I have to get it online. So, Definitely uh, worth it. I'm in the color sand. That's what she got me, and that's what I ordered today. So, yeah. Oreo? Sorry about that. Okay, another thing I'm enjoying is she sent me this toothpaste, if you guys remember. Well, she sent it to me not for my teeth. She sent it for me. Um, she said to wash my face, get it all squeaky clean, and then put this on the pimples. And this is what she does. She uses it to put just a pin drop, and I started doing that, and this has helped get rid of these bad boys. So, yeah, and it's from Oxyfresh. I think she got, like, a big box of them, and she sent me one of them. So, love that. I didn't think about that. I've heard of people doing that, but this is one of those really good toothpaste that it actually does it. So, um, the other blush I've been loving this week besides the Hot Mama from the Bomb has been Wet Wild Pearlescent Pink. I broke out this one that I got in a kit a while back. I love this blush, and that's... That swatch might have been the pearlescent pink. I'm just all over the place today. I apologize. Okay, so that's... That's what that looks like. It's a really pretty corally pink color, and I really love it. It makes my complexion come out and just... I don't know. It looks really, really pretty on me. And it's just... So pretty, I guess is the only thing I can think of. So, I have a full-size version of this, but I'm trying to get this used up because it did come in a kit that... I didn't like the eyeshadow either. This is the only good thing out of that kit. Okay, another uh, product I've been enjoying has been the Essence uh, Blush Brush. I don't know if they still have this, but I got this at Ulta. I've been using this to put my blush on, and instead of using the one from Forever 21, I've been really enjoying this. It's such a soft brush. 
and it does a nice job of getting in there and blending out my blush and just applying the color really nicely. Um, I think it was like three or four dollars. I can't remember. Um, a foundation I've been relying on quite a bit has been the L'Oreal Lumi. I love this. I usually wear my long wear foundations, but I really have been enjoying this one. I'm in the color porcelain slash ivory. And this one, even with the e.l.f. powder or whatever powder I've been using, this does stay on my face all day. With the exception of this area. But that's usually a problem area for me anyway. When I blow my nose and that kind of thing. Oh, gross. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, I really love how it looks on my skin. It gives me a nice glowy look. So anyway, I really have been enjoying this. And I highly recommend this to anybody. One last thing I've been enjoying. Oreo cookie. Stop it. I'm sorry. I don't want the bark. I don't. Okay, this is my e.l.f. single eyeshadow and yogurt. That's what the back of it looks like. I got this as a free item. I have been using this ever since I got it as the highlight brow color. And then I used it today. Um, let me show you what I have on today. I have on the NYX Color Icon Versus palette today. And I did something differently. I'm still learning all the technical terms about transition color and that kind of thing. But I have this color on my lid. This color on my crease. But before I put that center color right there into the crease. It was that one. It was one of these two. I can't remember. I put this one on there as a transition color and worked my way up. And then I applied the rest of it. And I love the way that this looked. It's such a pretty, pretty color. Um, I'm going to show you a finger swatch. It kind of reminds me of Birthday Soup from NYX. So, I'm so glad I picked that up. Because I had a hard time figuring out my free item. So, this is definitely worth it. Love it. Okay. Moving on. Okay, let me go ahead and get all the stuff in the container. I don't want the dogs jumping all over bed. Okie dokie, Smokey. Oh, and the other thing I've been enjoying, one last thing, has been... The heat protecting uh, from Aussie. This is an empty one. I keep water in, and this I like this bottle because it mists, and so I use it for my brushes and stuff like that. So I've been really just heavily relying on this one. I'm actually when I get done with my other bottle, I'm gonna empty that one out and use it for keep one on my scrapbooking table because I also use this for my scrapbooking uh, for cleaning out my stamps. So. Okay, I picked up the People Style Watch magazine. It's one of my favorite magazines. It's $3.99. I've got a dollar off coupon for my next uh, issue. I wrote down some of the pages to go check out. One of the ones I want to talk to you about has is $170. This is where it gives you the look for less. On this side, you get how it compares to the high end, and this is where it compares to the drugstore, I guess. Low cost. And I'm totally not used to this camera. So this is Emily Blunt's look. So anyway, go check this out. It like th this is comparing it to like the MAC eyeshadows. And I think on the other side it's got Elmay eyeshadows. And I'll get the camera right eventually. So I really love uh, how they compared like they compared a $25 lipstick from Shishido to a $9.99 Sonia Kashuk. So yeah, that's that's a good little page. Um, on pages 212 and 213, it gives you some websites about how to get some awesome um, accessories and so forth. And I'm not going to go into too much detail, but definitely check this out. I know a lot of you like accessories like I do. So, And then it gives you some tips for jewelry bags and shoes and scarves on this other side. So, pretty awesome. Oh, why am I putting that up? Okay, 221. Uh, what is it? This one is some styling tricks, how you can get the look. Uh, but I think I love it. it has the high end stuff for uh in general. So yeah, let's see. Two thirty. Um, I haven't really read this, but this has some amazing beauty new beauty finds, and they include like all kinds of things that like they talk about a Vaseline, Sprango moisturizer. Um, some nail polish, a uh, Remington silk infused dryer. That should be interesting. That's another uh, thing to check out. And I missed a page. Let's see, 220. Let's 
see if I skipped a page. Nope, that's it. That's totally it. So I would I wanted to get the issue for this month, but um I'm thinking about going to another Walmart and see if they have it or see if my local grocery store has it because they had some other I had another article on there I was wanting to read, but you know, pick up this month. I usually don't pick it up unless it's got some really good articles, but I really wanted to get this one because I haven't picked up one in such a long time. So anyway guys, tell me what you guys think about the video, how the video quality is. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to do more of these videos and I'm sorry I was going la la la. I'm like I said, I just I'm overwhelmed as I said with excitement and joy with this laptop. I'm just I'm trying to cram so much into in such a short amount of time, even though I'm off tomorrow and you know. Anyway, uh thanks so much for watching. Um if you guys want to see any product reviews on some of the recent products I gotten let me know i still have the list of stuff that i need to do for you guys so anyway stay tuned for hopefully better videos from me okay see you later bye